hard to take as you believe it. Nothing is too hard for God to do today. That's right. Nothing you're going through is too hard. Yeah. It may be impossible with man. The Bible says, not with God. For so with God, all things are possible to them that believe. You just got to believe on it. Hell, you got to believe. I tell people, if you make your mind up, he will deliver you. But you got to make your mind up. You can't have one percent. That one percent is too much. That one percent will mess you up. You can't. The devil. You see, you can't give no leeway to the devil. All he needs is something so small to work with. He can turn that thing into something so big. That little thing that we seem to overlook will mess up your whole walk with God. Well, I tell you, when you come on the Lord's side of God, and draws you here, and He's trying to save you and deliver you. Let God bring you out. You may not feel like you're ready to be saved today, but I promise you, you're going to need them on tomorrow. Somewhere down the line, you're going to need the Lord. And you don't realize, when God begins to draw you, he's trying to cut off something devastating the devil had plotted for you. When you came, she was full-blown depressed, shut off from her family, sitting in the dark, didn't want to be around the back, wanted to commit suicide. God brought her in the same day she come. He delivered her from depression, took the pills from her, and then he told her, if you would have been out there six more months in the world, the devil would have caused you to commit suicide. She would have been in hell today, but you ought to thank God for an invitation. You ought to thank God somebody invited you to church. You never know what God's inviting you. You never know what somebody's encouraging you. They're trying to compel you to come. You don't never know. I tell people, don't take life of an invitation to come to church. Come in, that next fight. She out there thought she was heat man, knocking them down every chance she got. But how many of those one always tougher than you out there? You gotta talk to the next one, you would have gotten the fight, would have what? Killed you right there! But he dropped her in the house and come before the devil can slay her. You tell me right on time. Huh? Did you come and say, look, God, and she, she didn't really know, she knew God, but she didn't know how it really was. She said, look, God, I don't get no help today. Mm. You need to show me who you really are. Because I'm going to kill myself. What are you doing now? Boy, he come to church and showed her to Sister Courtney. Praise God. That changed her whole life. And you think your praise can't change somebody else? You think your praise can't encourage somebody else? You think your lead can't bring somebody out of suicide? You better Contemplating at home. I feel you. Yes. Man, this thing don't get better. But what's the use of living? My Lord. Losing everything, what's the use of living? My Lord. I'm telling you, your word, your life is worth fighting for. Come on, glory to God. Your word, your life is worth fighting for. We serve a God who sees you today. Come on, it don't matter if you lost everything. Come on, he'll flip the script on you. He said, I'll make you a leader and not a power. He said, what 
Or say, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. You're not defeated. Somebody said, you don't know what I'm going through. You're not defeated. I've been in this thing too long. You're not defeated. I don't know how I'm coming out, but I heard somebody say he's a way maker. Oh, glory to God, he's an awesome ruler. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, we serve a God who's a way maker.
hand. Come on, get that in your spirit. Come on, you're tired of hurting yourself. Come on, glory to God. How do you know? How do you know the flesh is our enemy? Huh? Come on, the flesh will make you do things that hurt yourself. Huh? But come on, you got a problem with hurting yourself. Come on, God will deliver you today. Huh? Come on, God will bring you out of it. What well, you got to stand well? How am I hurting myself? Come on, Pastor. The choices you make. The split decisions you're making without praying. Huh? Split decisions. Impulsive decisions. Things we just do when we get upset. On uh -huh. impulse. We do, oh God, I done messed up. Lord have mercy. I done slapped it down before I knew it. Some of y'all want to be like Mike. And some of y'all also want to be like Ike. And I'm talking about Ike Turner. Eat the cake, anyway. Anybody eat the cake? Huh? You can't control folks. That's right. Folks don't do what you say. You slap them down. That's right. But you're going to slap the right one. You better keep your hands on God's anointing. Come on, the pastor ain't the only one that is God's anointing. Everything that's calling on the name of Jesus, you better keep your hands on God's anointing. No, I turn the spirit. Jumping on a woman. Coward. Yes. Straight coward. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, it's in the coward. house. Oh, it's in the house. I feel like it. That's a coward. Oh, it's in the house. Come right on now. Ain't no man gonna hit no woman. Amen. Not a real man. Amen. Not a real woman. Jesus. A woman don't even stand a chance. Huh? Yeah, we know some of y'all women can fight. Oh, yes. We Come on now. Still, it, it, ain't, it ain't right for you either, women. That's right. Huh? Yeah. God called us the holiness. And then we want to fight. That, that, that's, that's a form of witchcraft. You can't control nobody through your hands. Huh? You don't do what I say, I'll beat you down. That's witchcraft. Jesus. Quit that. Fight. Hallelujah. Church folks, don't wow. Amen. Uh, don't wow. Did I read the scripture? God said, put a difference. That's right. That's in the word. Clean and unclean. Yeah. Holy and unholy. And unholy. Yeah. Come here, brother Joe. Use this example. Now y'all tell me which one by looking at us, which one is beating our wife? Hmm. Huh? Now you speak out. Oh, oh, not the one in the yellow jacket. Huh? Oh, oh, not the one in the yellow jacket. Huh? Who's beating their wife? I'm looking at you. Ain't even gonna put up with you. No, no. You can't tell, huh? You can't tell, but one of us beating them. I'm gonna use that example. That's right. Huh? Okay. Can't tell, huh? Oh, you in the house? Oh. The Bible said put a difference. Huh? Between clean and unclean. Oh, come on now. Holy and unholy. Huh? Put a difference, huh? Jesus. Who is helping the house? And, and, and we look so clean, bro. Who helping the house? But I don't speak more lives. You see what I'm saying? But we look clean. Who helping the house? Come on we now. Clean. We look clean. Y'all stop being so spiritual. We know y'all ain't beating their lives. It's an example. That's why I put me in my Joe. Uh, we know that. But some of y'all ain't here beating women. Ooh, the Lord can deliver you. But God will take that demon out you. Yes, he will. The Bible says he know how to humble the mean man. Girl, he rude. Good God, I'm like, he'll humble you all the way down. Jesus. Put a difference. Between mm. clean and unclean. Holy and unholy. Amen. It's supposed to be a difference. Amen. Hallelujah. It's supposed to be a difference. Amen. We're supposed to know. Mm. Stuff we doing. I don't, I don't understand. Our church folks are doing stuff with the world doing too. Amen. What's the difference in it? Huh? It was a part 
the Bible when they said, Lord, who you want us to be like the Egyptians? He said, no, they worship idols. Ooh. In another place, they said, Lord, should we be like the Philistines? Mm. They said, no, they call their children to sacrifice their children, send them through fire. Ooh, it's in the word. He said, in Leviticus 19, no, this is what I want you to do. I want you to keep your eyes on me and be ye holy. For your Lord thy God is holy. God wants to be like him, not the world. So we talk about we in church, we quote scripture but beating folks. Huh? You quote scripture but you're smoking. You quote scripture but you're falling, came after the You doing all this stuff. Yeah. Quote scripture, we know the word, but in a nightclub. Huh? So wrong with that. Yes. All in Biloxi. Mm -hmm. All that Mississippi. Yeah. Gambling, they tell us we don't go. That's right. Quote scriptures, but gambling. Yeah. Huh? I, I, I used to shoot dust when I was in the world. Mm -hmm. I ain't picked up another set since I've been on the Lord's side. Ooh, hallelujah. I ain't, got, I ain't got to shoot dice no more to try to get a quick fix of money. He said, I supply every need. Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference? Yeah. We talk about women in the streets. We so quick to say, oh, they, 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 they thoughts. You know what I say? Thoughts. Y'all know the word. Y'all call them that. But some of y'all doing the same thing the world doing. So where's the difference at? Yes. Oh, they, they fast. Oh, that, that woman there is sitting around with everybody. But you, you, you call, you speaking in tongues, you speaking around. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Not doing the work. Not a doer. 
And we are attracted to people that's not doing what God said to do. Yes. That's the main one we want. Yeah. They ain't going to do what God said. He's going to try to come to church and camouflage. Uh -huh. Pastor, can you pray for me? So and so, he ain't doing this. You knew that before you married him. You knew that uh -huh. before you got connected with him that he was doing this. So I'm trying to make him look like he's a scum of the earth. You knew it to a man when you said, I go. When your heart is after something else besides God, it's impossible to put a difference between clean and unclean. When your heart is after something else besides God, church folks, it's impossible for you to put a difference between clean and unclean. Holy and unholy. Ooh, it's going to sneak out some kind of way. Huh? It's impossible. It's impossible. How can you? That's why Romans 12 said, Be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Huh? Conform me. Don't follow the tradition. Don't follow their customs of the world or adapt to them. Don't follow the crowd. Don't run with the pack. Don't be similar in form or type. Jesus. Now, the world will do what they do. Just like I did when I was in the world. Yeah. I just want to come up to yeah. I want to turn for a break. Mm. What's the difference that? Huh? We all on the tree drinking. Yeah. You speak in some kind of tongue, you know the scriptures, and they don't. Huh? Unholy. Yeah. 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 Huh? Unholy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He said, I'm done with the pack. You the only one so called saying at the group. Everybody smoke but you. Why are you running with them? Yeah. 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 I don't think that I'm better than you. Well, let me tell you something. I don't think when I was in LA, when daddy was dying out there, I went to my cousin's house. I was sitting down. We was fellowshipping, having a good time. But when he pulled that big old bag, trash bag full of marijuana, five minutes later, I used wisdom. Five minutes later, I said, sister, it's getting late. It's time to go back to the hospital. What if I would have stayed in that environment? Uh, come on, and that been the very night the house get busted up. And now I'm in the newspaper. Pastor from Old York, Alabama, who's in a drug bus. Come on, who thought would it be? Mine! Because I chose to stay in that kind of environment. That's why right. some of y'all stand in these environments, you know you ain't got no business in. You're right. gonna be there. Your heart is really there. That's right. Tell me, you sitting around all this stuff. They blasting Beyonce. They drinking, smoking, turning all the way up. Oh my, doing everything under the sun. And we just sitting out there right in the midst. Really, God just doing what we do right in the midst of it. Yeah. And you wonder why your light ain't shining. That's right. And ain't convicted. Put a difference. Holy and unholy. The world want to see an example. Yeah. They show sure people that say, "Look, I'm not coming to church because That's of so right. so." That's yeah. right. Huh? They show but look, everybody. You know, I understand what you're saying, but you can't let that hinder you. That's why God trying to. He don't want us to be hypocrites because you can stand in the way of sinners. Glory to God. You don't want to stand and people are dying. They're sick. They're bound. They're looking for examples, real examples, not in here outside. I mean, you, you're witnessing, you're supposed to be witnessing to women, but you're trying to talk to them. And you wonder why some of them can't. You can't outsmart the Holy Ghost. God will lead you to them to, to witness to them, and then you talking to them. And you wonder why you didn't mess up, you didn't say something out the way, now that soul ain't came because of something you didn't say. That's why he said, put a difference. You can hinder what God is trying to do. He said, don't be similar in form. Huh? Now, if I was to come in here with a throwback jersey on, how I did when I first came, when I didn't know no better. 
Put my grill in, my hat turned backwards. What y'all gonna do? Huh? Uh-oh. Man, it touched me, huh? What's wrong with him? Why? Why do? Why? I'm looking simple. I look like so what? How, what I mean though? But what if I'm speaking to Jesus? Huh? Oh, so so what it do? It, it can start making y'all think twice about some things, huh? And you and you think what y'all doing outside the church ain't making people think twice? You may come to the pastor for that. They will point you all the way out. Glory to God! Come on, glory to God! The pastor, everything that got put in here that's trying to be a Christian, we need to put a difference between. Holy. Yeah, some of y'all so called saved folks. You so covered up in here. Yeah. He's so holy in the holy nature here. Yeah. Yeah. But then you get out there, you got mini shirts home. Uh, come on, you got your tutu shorts home, glory to God. What's wrong with us? All your chest hanging out. What's wrong with the women being an example to other women? Yeah. 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 Is that quiet to God? Yeah. Yeah. Women out here with their tank tops on, all their chest on, and they yeah. talking about they holy. Amen. So when everything that I was to put you, if I was to catch you in your outfit outside the church and bring somebody else with a tank up in, who 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 gonna tell which one say? They both got tank tops on, showing both their chest. Who you gonna tell? Amen. Huh? Amen. You can't tell. You can't. And mm. You can't tell. Amen. That's why he said, put a difference in everything that we do. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Be so not conformed. Don't follow the crowd. Yes. Don't follow the crowd. Amen. It's okay to be different. Amen. The Bible says sometimes when you come to the Lord's side, you ain't gonna have to separate yourself. And you know, God, you didn't got delivered from that ball. Say, you didn't got delivered from that ball six months. And you around people that say, hey, come on, come on, one more drink. Come on, let's take one more drink. Here you go, you're going to be all right. It ain't going to hurt you. One more drink. Hurt. If you're trying to be free from that, you got to separate yourself. Yeah. That's because right. Eventually, you keep sitting around that atmosphere, yeah. they're going to catch you at the right time. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. And you and everybody say evil communications, it corrupts good matters. You trying to do good, but you keep letting people in your ear. You'll find yourself doing wrong. That's what the Bible said. Left that day called good evil. Yeah. And evil, good. You can't let everybody get in your ear and keep saying it's all right to do all this stuff. Especially when you first start out trying to be a Christian. Yeah. And you got to separate now. Yeah. It don't matter who it is. Yeah. That's right. It's one thing. Yeah. That's so true. I'm not going to do that now. Amen. You know, going to make me feel I'm supposed to just sit around and party. I know I used to be a marijuana junkie. I'm talking about full blown junkie. Mm. And you think I'm going to go to the marijuana party? Mm-mm. And just sit there and kick it and hang out for what? Oh, no. To be enticed? Yeah. For what? Huh? For no what? confidence in the place. What am I doing? Why, am I, why is my spirit even comfortable in that? Yeah. Of he didn't deliver me and brought me out. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, rolling up in your face. Yeah. Licking it. <laughs> hitting it. Then blowing it right in your face. Oh, excuse me. I, I didn't mean to blow that your face. You wonder why you. <laughs> you, you go home and you know. Hey, now, I just. Oh, yeah, it's I just a good day. I just, I just feel good. You smiling, ain't nobody even laughing. Hey, man, you done smiling. It ain't nothing funny. You done got a contact. They don't, you can't, they don't tell me now. I used, to, I, I used to give them guns all the time now. Deceiving myself when I was first trying to smoke. I stopped smoking in the circle. Nah, I'm still in the circle in the bathroom now. I'm in the circle, but when they pass around, I didn't hit it. I said, y'all just blow me a gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ooh, oh, I'm you in the house. Mouth. You in the house. I ain't right? in my mouth. Yeah. But I'm left. I'm, they, they, they get real. Y'all know how they is. Stop playing like y'all ain't saying. Y'all know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. And then y'all see, they get real close up to you, and you just. Yeah. And before you knew it, you done had that brain rush. And now you hot and tight. Yeah. yeah. But because I didn't smoke it, didn't pull it, I thought I was doing well. Yeah. Man, come on. Some of y'all don't understand. You ain't got to Unholy. You in the midst of it. Unholy. Oh. My Lord. Woo. Yeah. 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 You ain't laughing and giggling for no reason. Yeah. You didn't got a contact. High off contact. Yeah. The same way you do the same thing when I wasn't saved. Mm. So don't play like a weekend change. Oh, oh, I can, you can be around the weed now, blow it up your nostrils, and you don't get you high now. The devil's alive. The weed's still the same. Jesus. And then they got some stronger now. Come on now. 
You know, now I tell people, y'all, y'all, folks in here talking about you saved, but you stayed in order to these doctors getting these prescription drugs, and you taking them not because you hurt them, not because you done got high off them pills, you yeah. still alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Now you're a spiritual drug addict. Yeah, wow. addicted. Uh, Come on now. Spiritual drug addict. You praise God, you testify, you sign, you do this, you do that, but come on, you a drug addict. Mm. High on oxycontin the pill, value and purpose head. All them pills. The blue ones. Come on. Ecstasy. Mollies. All of them. Oh, they legalized in the summer, so. God didn't legalize it. It don't matter what man talks about. Let man be alive. Every man in God's word be true. Let every man be alive. Let God's word be true. We sit here doing all this stuff. We're talking about we say Evil, good, and good, evil. Come on, we got to be real. We got to put a difference. <laughs> we got to put a difference. Yes. Huh? Yes. People want to see the real. Don't you want to see somebody that's really real for God? That's right. Yeah. 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 Ain't you tired of every man that play like you say trying to talk to you and, and, and talk the lust for you all the time? Oh, ain't you tired of that woman? Yeah. 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 That's right. It's a demon. Talk with his eyes. Yeah. Uh, that is to get delivered now. Amen. I'm talking about quick, fast. Staring at folks in church. Mm. Uh, folks trying to get saved. And then mother, some of these women. So they to be saved. Oh, oh they tell it on you. Come on now. Staring. That's it. They in the cut. <laughs> and trying to play it off like they going to the bathroom. Well, let me turn around and look at my first thing when they took their finger. <laughs> Right. Oh, no. Some of y'all little ropes. That's all right. Get the lever. You gotta get the lever. You gotta get the lever. See, you gonna realize. 